Hi, my name is Taylor. I am eight years old and I go to Rockland Academy. Me and Myers. Taylor was always a spunky little kid. She always had a smile on her face, um, just the life of the party, wanted to go out all the time and run around. Uh, she was never really sick ever as a little girl. Taylor loved adventure and didn't matter where it was as long as she was on it. That's we, everything we did was an adventure. During Christmas break in 2015, Tay had developed a double ear infection and had lost all of her hearing. We brought her to the pediatrician. Her hearing started to come back and she, at that point, had developed these two nodules on her temples on either side of them. And um, the pediatrician kept just saying it was drainage from her ears. A week would go by and it was still there and they were getting bigger. And so he kept insisting it's just drainage and I, without seeing us, and I insisted, I said, we need to come in and have you see her. I remember the two doctors and nurses walking in saying, your daughter has cancer. I was diagnosed with T-cell ALL. At that time when we did receive the diagnosis, she was about 98% full of cancer cells. My dad passed away from cancer. I knew the process and I knew in my mind that wasn't the outcome that my daughter was gonna have. So I said right then and there, tell me where I need to go, what I need to do, because she's not gonna have that, not my daughter. I was at the hospital with Tay and doing treatment with her or staying overnight with her and um, Jason would be at home with Joe. To him it's not a disease, to him it's not an end game, it's just is. Yeah. And it allowed him to support Taylor unconditionally without even knowing it. He knew when Tay was accessed, he knew he couldn't touch Tay, he couldn't play with her when she had her needle in, you know, he always knew Tay doesn't feel good um, and would try and make her laugh. He was a good big little brother. After that first year, they say it eases up a bit and you go into maintenance. But for her, maintenance started off doing radiation. And she had full cranial radiation therapy, um, 10 rounds of that. But she handled it. She was a better champ. Better than anyone. Better yeah. than any adult I've ever seen. She's handled it better than anybody. Yeah. I stopped having my chemo on May 20th, 2018. We just hit our six month mark of no chemo, no pills, no spinal taps. Um, just being able to live life and make memories. LS has a program called Pennies for Patients. And um, the kids were introduced to this in her kindergarten class. The teacher had emailed us asking us specifically that there was a Peanuts uh, video that they were gonna show where Charlie Brown's friend had gotten leukemia and um, asked permission to share it because they were gonna do this program called Pennies for Patients to raise funds for kids with cancer. Less than a month later, she actually was diagnosed with leukemia. Come to find out, at that time, she had leukemia in her body. So that was our introduction to LLS. When she was actually in the hospital, I remember sitting down and saying, remember Charlie Brown's friend? Um, and you learned about how the little girl had leukemia. She said, yeah. I said, well, that's what you have. And it made it easier. It, as, as silly as that sounds, it made it easier to tell her that she had cancer. She had an instant connection. Mm-hmm. She made a connection to that character in, in the movie, and it also gave her hope that she didn't, it wasn't all bad, even when it was, and I think she really held on to that. Thank you, LLS, for fundraising and everything you do. We just wanted to say thank you to everyone at LLS and everyone who's been fundraising to help with new treatments and going into the future. She doesn't have to worry. 